Well, here we are again at uh, Museum Play. And we were here, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday morning. And it was very, very quiet. It was bright, but very quiet, very few people. And it was, of course, quite a bit colder. The temperature has gone up. Um, we're now a couple of weeks further, closer to super spring. And you can already see what happens, how busy it is. I mean, it's not even, it's nowhere near maximum. It's, it's still just uh, warming up, so to say, way in the background where you see, oh yeah, on the left, that was uh, Van Gogh Museum. And there in the background, you're looking at the Rijksmuseum. And slightly to the left, we're seeing, oh, it's disappearing, but there's this little dog that appeared in, in shot. I am simply standing uh, here and turning around and around and around and around. <laughs> it, 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 uh, yeah, I don't know if it's, well, that's all I'm doing. I'm just standing at one point, turning around, showing you this, uh, this, this bit of Amsterdam that a lot of people come to. Of course, I'm going to show you lots of other places, and I think I'm not going to come back here again with the camera until the summer. I don't actually know what's going on, but you see that, that blue stuff, there's, um, th there was a, there's a sculpture there that I think they have to repair. This is this small lane of trees uh, that I find very interesting. It sort of, it doesn't seem to begin or end anywhere in particular, but they're there. And in some of you often see a lot of people running in, around, in and around the trees. There's lots of shade, or you have bits of picnics, uh, people having picnics, not bits of picnics, even though what's left behind are probably bits of picnics. Um, oh yeah, these, these two ladies here on the left, young ladies, they have been, yeah, you can't really see it because I rotate and then you miss a lot, but they take pictures, check, take pictures, check, take pictures, check, and the pictures seem to be of themselves or of the sky, at least the phone is angled at, that it's either of themselves or of the clouds in the sky, um, but that's also quite fine. Another thing I notice <laughs> as I turn around. I'm looking because I can see on the screen the world is bending one way or another. Please, it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with some strange magnetic force that is, uh, that is taking control of uh, the camera. So I, I try my best, but I, it's, it's almost as if the, the more you turn, <laughs> the more it leans. So it, it's quite possible that by the time I've done the third rotation that everything will be at the 90 degree angle. Um, anyway. The fact is, you, you can. I'm going to disappear, and you can just enjoy the, the slow motion scenery. It's um, oh yeah, I suddenly got a new idea, but I'm not going to tell you that yet. It's an idea of how to sort out some of these wobbles or whatever. So here we come again, um, yeah, spinning around, and I think the best thing I see there. You see the ladies again with their their camera, and um, oh, the concert well, really does look freaky with this completely white background but you see them th those two ladies there so they're very busy with their stuff and uh, I'm sure they're doing an excellent job editing photos of themselves in front oh yeah those two uh, these containers um, I don't know if he was the guy there's a guy who we might see him or you might have seen him but he goes in there uh, he climbs up the ladder and does something inside the container I have no idea what those containers are for maybe I need to go back uh, in a couple of days to see if they're for some project or whatever. Anyway, having said that, uh, I think I'm going to let you roll. I have nothing more to say of great importance <laughs> that I will work on the fact that this camera has this way of leaning one way or another. It's uh, funny how the laws of physics, uh, earlier what I said about um, in an earlier, uh, I think the episode before this I talked about moving around and robotics and how robots can only, you know, we're amazed at what they can do, but ultimately what they can do is very minor compared to what we can do as a human being. You know, I can just turn around and everything is level, of course. Well, yeah, um, I've got to work on my camera skills. Uh, <laughs> it certainly is one thing. Oh, yeah, see, I'm getting all these extra bits where I should have ended. One thing I've learned is that the difference between still photography and video is enormous. It's really enormous. Uh, that you just think differently, you do completely different things. And uh, however, the challenge is, it's a nice challenge to figure out that within a year I should be able to be ultra smooth with my um, video behavior. <laughs> so anyway, on that note, on that ultra smooth note, there's a little white dog there, another dog, you see them, going to say, 
Hello. Oh, oh no, it didn't. It snubbed it and he's saying hello to the other one. Oh, okay. So the even dogs have <laughs> status. <laughs> okay, on that note, I'm going to say see you later. Bye.